welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Yeah, we have left the beach. We have left the beach and I think that we have found a perfect location to start off with our base. And I can show you where we are right now. Oh, we didn't do the light shots command. I believe we did, but we are at the bottom of the volcano, the other mountain is right over there, and the redwood forest is right over there. I can show you guys on the map, and for one reason it takes some time for my map to load in. I am here, joined by Misha. Misha is not on voice chat with us at the moment, but he has helped out us greatly. We played with him on our Dutch YouTube channel, and well this is his server and he already had some items guys he already had some items so he was willing to share it with us here you see our hide armor that we made last episodes and all of our primitive tools that we worked so hard for but now look at this guys look at this we already have two journeyman crossbows max durability of 301 and a weapon damage of 168.8 we also have journeyman hatchet journeyman pick we even have an apprentice metal sickle oh my days guys this is amazing amazing i'm telling you and this place here i think i think this can work i know it is in the middle of the night but yeah you know how it goes we are always limited limited on recording time but over here i guess we will just build a random wall somewhere around here ish i guess and the lag guys i can explain the lag to you arc did an update and before they did the update they promised us improvement in um performance sadly they did not come through with that they did not um, come through with it at all oh cream oh sweet sweet but we will build a wall like this I guess something something like that also guys Misha has been nice enough to us to give us in Argentavis we left our Pteranodon on the southern island he is living over there and we will visit that location sometime but he already has such a huge, huge amount of dinos over there that I do not like being around that place. It lags. It lags me really badly. Although, on a side note, this is Misha, his first server. And he likes insane dinos. He even wanted to change the difficulty to, level to 20. But uh, luckily he, he didn't. The difficulty setting is still on 4. And so that also means the highest dino level we can find is level 120. But he has, well, bumped up the rate that babies gain their um, statistics. So this RG has already gotten 2800 HPs. That's not that impressive. 3600 stamina we that's impressive already a weight of 1000 but now it, this is where it gets crazy a melee damage of 764 percent and a movement speed of 203.8 percent guys normally i i would not appreciate changing the game this much but right now because we lost all we had on the last two servers I am glad to have this insanely strong RG to start off with. This will help us rebuild the stuff that we have lost a little bit faster. Also the area here is not that flat at all. But, but, we've got structures plus guys. I think that we will build the floor out of ceilings and that we will use I think one foundation up here and the rest will just be ceilings. Misha has been farming some materials for us already, so let's go. We can't store any more items that do have some weight on our bird, so I guess we are going to have to start to craft up stuff and things so that we can start 
Yeah, you are too small. What? What? You are too small and still too strong. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's go. Um, we already have a foundation over here. Uh, yeah, I saw them. Also, guys, the update, the update, it did promise us. It did promise us new dinos. It promised us um, <coughs> performance increase, but we did not gain any of that. Nothing of that. It all that we gained was a performance decrease and a paid DLC. A paid DLC, guys. I am not pleased with that at all because I was really expecting to show those new dinos off to you right now. But sadly, sadly, they have not not been implemented oh yeah guys this is working out great because of the structures plus mod we can do stuff like this um i think i think that we are not going to build it all on camera with you guys seeing we do not have any storages going or whatever oh i didn't even learn the stone stuff yet <laughs> misha has been making this for me so let's go let's go for i think we need to learn all of the wooden stuff first the wood walls do we need the chairs no we do not the wall signs to say ceiling the rails oh we need the slope thatch roof fence foundations the wooden ramp the pillar hatch frame little leather i have done a little bit of leveling guys reinforced wooden door it needs the stone door frame okay so let's go to thatch i want to learn all of the building materials we can unlearn it whenever we need to so also let's learn all of the s plus thatch stuff we probably will never use it but yeah well we might we might um the wooden st i don't know the wood the spiral staircase is not necessary i guess I, I i don't think it is why am i i am missing the sloped stuff the the yeah the sloped wood walls that's what i was missing um yeah guys i think that we are going to make a cut here and we are going to learn everything everything there is to learn especially the s plus stuff seeing we can pick that stuff up and it doesn't cost us any any extra dinosaur gateway uh why am i not seeing that in the list over here well i guess this should be enough for now now we can get started on let's get that going that going that going this and this and this and this and yeah guys we are going to build a starter house over here and whenever we have done that i will bring you guys back in so yeah guys brbs hello guys as we are building our new little starter house right over there we have found a level 108 terror bird just hanging around just hanging around misha wanted to tame it up so i said let's knock it down let's knock it down i had to show this to you guys let's go over the pre-tame statistics rather quickly it has got an hp of 1080 a stamina of 464 a weight of 151 it can hardly carry me i guess and a melee damage of 175 i think he will be overpoweredly strong when he finally tames up i think misha will be starving starve taming him also we have built oh wait this stop follow please we have built a storage boxes over here and a few refining fuel forges because we are running out of the durability on our tools so insanely fast especially if we ah oh, this bird is so fast he is extremely fast but we are farming up decent amount of materials and we are using the durability of our tools so fast so fast guys that we need to go and repair them the problem with having good tools repairing them takes tons 
and tons of materials. So we are already melting down some some of the iron guys. We are we are don't 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 get in a fight. Uh wow, this bird is too fast guys. He he can't even make a decent turn anymore. Ah, uh, this is insane. And if I have caught him on follow, it, it, it is even extremely, extremely hard to actually mount him. Is Misha killing it for primes? No, he's not. Okay, okay, he's not killing it for primes. We've got some thatch going on because we are running out of thatch faster than we are running out of anything, anything else. So, well, how much? We I believe we need like two more of these guys. Because the rest we will need to do with ceiling test. I'm just bringing you guys back in for a small, a small update. I want this area to be seven wide. I think that this is already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in that direction. I also want it to be seven in that direction, so that we will be able to extend it out a little bit further, and that we can build a dinosaur cave on top of it. I uh, want to craft a lot of um, stone walls. I don't know guys what we will run out of. We will run out of stone, which is not even surprising me at all. I was hoping one more foundation here. And no, sadly, no more foundations. It needs to go out one more into this direction and then it will be done. We need a ceiling over there. We do still have one ceiling here so let's add that in and then let's go let's put up some walls guys let's put up the first walls of our second noob house i guess yeah this is our second noob house i don't know this might become our proper main base but for now we are just setting up a safe place to start building a base here my headset is destroyed too we'll make a smithy now i guess i don't even know if i've got the materials for it also we've gained a level up and i will run you through the statistics that i have built i have brought my own hps up to 150 which should be more than enough it is a pvp server we are already running around in flag guys our armor is up to 625 so we do not we do not need any any of any more HPs. Our stamina has 150, which well, it feels all right. Our weight is still at 260. We will need to pump a lot more in that. I've pumped my movement to 150. The fortitude I've managed to get at 30, which is enough for now. I did one point in crafting speed, but that is because I forgot that we still need to increase our weight by tons. By tons, guys. We have an S plus smithy, yeah we do, but that's not the one I need. Let's go to structures, crafting. We need metal, stone, wood, hide. Yeah, we should have to that. Can I still move? We can still move. We already got 20 metal smelted down and we needed some hide. So let's craft a smithy and let's just place it down. Guys, these, these, these things will not be in their permanent location. I'm just plunking them down so that we are going to be able to use them right now so that we can build this base so like so oh what did he tame up a scorpion did he really just tame up a scorpion for the fancies well it's, it's okay we can always use a little bit of defense over here Misha is fond of taming animals. You should see his base, guys. You should see his base. It is insane. It is an insane amount of dinos already. So, guys, we will continue constructing this. And we will be back when we have got something interesting to show to you guys. So, be right back. Hello, guys. Welcome back. As we are building Misha. Misha cannot. He cannot stop lagging me out. No, he isn't doing that. He cannot stop taming. Right now, he just knocked down a level 16 Rex. If we go back over here, we take a look at this. Um, well, house, my jingly doodle. It's not much, guys. It's not much at all. But right over here, we've got three dillos. 
I don't know the, I do not even know why or what he is planning with it, but he is taming dinos like a madman. And this is what he does in the few hours that we have spent building this house. Like wow. Imagine him playing a week on on a server. Oh wow. That was kind of messed up because now I am lacking one. One ceiling to make my room complete guys. Just one ceiling. Hopefully I've got enough thatch because apparently thatch is the thing now. I am running out of thatch all, all the time. Not even joking, all the time we are out of thatch. We did have enough um, stone and wood. It's not that hard to get but apparently thatch, the thatch was the issue. And the lag, always the lag, but I guess that is our laggy evolved. It's, it's what happens guys, the lag will be here and it will always stay. That is just how the game works, it tends to eat up memory if you play anything longer than 5 minutes, it will drain your memory. It doesn't even matter, or even if I had 64 kicks of mem, it will drain it and it will drain it completely and then you need to relog and restart your game and stuff like that. It's, it's the stuff that I don't like, I don't like. Also, what you already have seen is our. Um, oh, I can't get back in. I guess I might be able to. I might be able to. But let's just get on our bird, fly through our dinosaur cage. Also, on Structure Plus, it is weird. The first, the first time the gate opens, it opens towards you. The second time, it sometimes opens away from you. It is extremely extremely annoying not knowing which way the gate opens and i am i'm even surprised that we can't set anything anything to well tell it what way to open or tell it to well just always open to the outside or whatever but let's come back to our um male tarot bird right over here i believe the first three digits he puts in so that he knows that this was the first one i guess the second three digits are the original level and the three the third three digits are the level he tamed out at this guy tamed out at level 159 and i think he wants to use that for later breeding on so let's take a look his hp has gone up to 1512 stamina 592 which still feels kind of low it does feel low sadly i do not i do not have the materials right here to actually build a saddle on it also we are running out of food and i do not have any any thing to make food at the moment we need to craft another campfire i can't remember what is required to craft a campfire but let's take a look and see this should this should be enough i guess guys this should be enough right oh this is the wrong crafting structures uh cooking probably we need thatch that's what i'm saying guys it's always the thatch i'm not even joking we need some wood to burn in it this can all go back in there let's put this back in here and i i think guys that i am quite quite pleased with this um how this is working out did i really put the wood back in we already have a stone structure over here misha has got a ton a ton more of plants but i do not think that we have gotten that we have got enough time to do all that he wants to do because my time is already running out guys for this video and i know not much has happened but then again the results the results of whatever we did over here are amazing this is what i mean guys now it opens in and then it opens out now it opens in you never know and just so you can't never well tell which way it will open but this is our first our first where did all the other dillos oh they're over there okay but this is our first well proper base location the other one was just a thatch a thatch structure which isn't well actually big enough to do anything with uh, you want this lady but yeah um 
I am I am really really pleased on how this turned out and I am glad that Misha Misha managed to help us out and I had a lot and I really mean a lot of fun making this episode working together with people is rather nice as you just saw Misha knock down knock down that Pulmonar Scorpius without any any problems guys I wanna thank you for watching to this episode of ARK Survival Evolved I have enjoyed making this I hope you have enjoyed watching this and next time next time we are going to get some decent teams to make farming the materials a little bit easier guys like always I will see you in the next one bye bye